right, so now we're outside in the garage here. It's actually right in the garage doorway. Um, so I've got uh, my five gallon pail. I've got my bucket that has one pound of trim fingers in it. <clears throat> I've got my lead going up to my air supply, which is right over here. You want to make sure that it's higher than your bucket, uh, just to prevent any chance of acid coming up the tube. <clears throat> all right. So now all that's left to do is pour in your acid. This is um, Crown Muratic Acid Next. It's less harmful fumes. Uh, it's supposed to be the, the safer muratic acid. Right. So you want to save this jug so you can store your your acid after you're using it. <coughs> so all that's left now is to turn on the air. Here it goes. All right. So we're good. I'm just gonna cover it and let it run for a while. All right. So keep in mind that this process can take quite a while. Um, definitely at least two or three days to make sure that you remove all the foils off of everything. Uh, what you're going to want to do is every day come out and shake it up a little bit, that tubing handle that we made on the bucket. Uh, that's going to ensure that acid is getting in contact with everything in there. And that's it. So we'll come back in a, in a few days and take a look at it. Alright, so let's take a look at day two. See all those gold foils at the bottom there. Quite a bit going on, and um, indeed it does. I was absolutely right. My zip ties were made out of nylon, and now they are no more. So you want to make sure that you're not using nylon zip ties. So that's all the gold foils at the bottom so far, and there's still quite a bit of foils left on all those fingers. So we're going to leave this in here for you know another couple days. Alright, so today is Tuesday and um, this has been in here since Sunday. Just giving it another shake. I shook it up this morning. So as you can see, you know, I've got uh, quite a few of those foils are coming off. I'd say about well, at least half of them are off by now. Um, and this is starting to look really pretty. So you can see all the foils floating around and even more in there. There's, there's quite a bit. The solution is getting darker, which is fine. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to let that keep going. So that's it for day two. We'll check back in on day three. Alright, so today is Wednesday. And uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, that's getting nice and dark. Uh, so it's got that nice emerald green color to it. You can see some of that splashing up against the wall here. Alright, so let's take a look. <clears throat> things up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. They're almost all cleaned off. So, this air bubbler system is great. You can see all those gold foils floating around. Isn't that a beautiful sight? <coughs> it's like the world's most beautiful snow globe. Alright, so, and I got too much HC on my hands there. That's fine. Yep, so look around there. Well, that doesn't really help much. But, yeah. So, we're almost done. Alright, so I'm going to let that go for... Ooh, where's my face? There it is. Um, I'm going to let that go for another day or so. just want to make sure that all the, um, the fingers are cleaned off. Uh, so I don't have to try and process this again. And since I'm using an air bubbler system, I don't have to worry too much about um, losing gold into the solution. You know, which can happen if you put too much peroxide in. So, we'll check in again tomorrow. All right, so we are here on day seven of having um, all the gold fingers in the air bubble system. Um, this was actually done like three days ago, but we've been having crazy rain, um, so I haven't been able to get to it. Uh, but it's okay to leave it in there for a few extra days, no big deal. The gold is off most of it. Um, I'd say you know, 98% of it is removed from the, the gold fingers. So what we're going to do is the last, no, one of the last steps in the recovery process 
we're going to be just filtering out all the liquids. We want to make sure that we uh, try to protect our hydrochloric solution so we don't want to water it down too much. Um, we want to make sure that we can use it again and again. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this our, um, our strainer bucket and shake off as much gold flake and hydrochloric as we can. Alright, and I've got a bucket of water over here, clean water. Alright, so I'm going to take this and put this aside for now. And i got to tell you, I'm really liking this, um, this muriatic acid next. Low fumes, I mean, you can't smell anything. I tested it this week uh, as far as like the vapors and stuff. I put a wrench on, um, on the edge of the lid of the bucket. And normally with like the regular hydrochloric, it would have started corroding like within a few minutes. And the wrench was there for three days and nothing happened to it. I mean, I don't smell anything. It, it really is. I mean, you read the label of it, it is much safer to handle. And it still does the same thing. So, I've got the, the strainer bucket in the water, and I'm just going to you know, shake it off, try and get as much of the gold flake off and into the water. We take a look, you can see that pretty much, oh, on camera, where are you? Right, so if we take a look, you can see that pretty much all the gold is off the gold fingers, which is what we want. Right, so we got our beaker. Speaker, funnel, filter paper. Now, I know I'm going to get asked, is this the best way to do it? No, it's not the best way to do it. It's just the way that I do it. Um, so, what, we get, what we're going to do now is we're going to spray down the sides of the bucket to make sure there's no little flakes clinging there. You don't want to use too much water again. You want to Make sure that you keep the solution as, as clean as possible. Alright, so we're going to start pouring. That is just so filled with gold. Alright, so this process is going to take a while, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and, and come back when we're done. Alright, so here's a little something I wanted you guys to see. Um, so I've got pretty much all of the um, AP out of the bottom of the bucket, um, and that's <clears throat> a nice little pile of gold right there. Uh, but keep in mind that um, I also have gold in my filters, where I'm filtering out the solution, as well as over there and in the bucket that I've been using to rinse things out and there's still going to be some gold in with the, um, the rest of the fingers that I still have to rinse out some more. So, the process right now, I'm about 30 minutes into it and I've used about six filters. You're, you're going to use filters, you know, they get plugged up. Um, a little tip that I can give you, never ever ever throw out your filters when you're done. What you want to do is you know, squish them up into little tiny balls and save them. Let them dry out. Um, and then when you have a lot of them, you just burn them and use a map gas torch. And by the time everything's gone, you'll probably have a nice little gold bead in there because gold, um, you might find little black, little bits of black powder. <clears throat> like you see in there, you see some dark powder. And that could be gold as well. And while you're filtering, if you want to remove chunks of fingers like that, that's fine. But don't try and remove too much because the um, uh, the refining process will remove everything else, and you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you don't get rid of gold that you need. That's all that's left in the bucket from filtering out, and you want to take your your spray bottle and make sure you, you really get the edges of that bucket. You want to make sure that um, there's no gold stuck anywhere. Go ahead and use as much water as you want, it doesn't really matter because it's not going to be diluting the AP because it's not going in the AP. It's going off in a, in a separate bucket. So now that I've got that, I'm going to pour that through the filter. Alright, so let's pour. Alright, 
Now, if, if you do this like I do, um, you know, a couple times a year, you're going to have you know a good bit of gold to bottom that, and it's going to be really hard to rinse off into um, into your bucket. So as soon as you get as much as you can out, you're actually going to have to spoon the rest out. I've got uh, these little plastic spoons. That is heavy. Oh, I love that. That is nice and heavy. All right, let's keep that spoon in there. The bucket is now clean. I'll rinse off my spoon. You still see that, yep. So that's all set. Double check your solution and make sure that no foils have slipped through. That looks clean. So that, that's quite a bit of foils there, and I can tell you, I, I can feel the weight, I mean granted it's wet, so it's hard to really gauge weight, but there's going to be a few grams there. Alright, so, I'm going to continue with the washing. My funnel's plugged with gold. And I know I'm going to get some comments that it's not real gold. Well, to those people who say that, that's fine. Uh, just send me a message and I'll give you my address where you can send everything that is not gold. drained off all the water and that's I mean that looks like a lot of gold I mean it really does um, and it is a lot of gold for a home refiner but you know at most that's gonna be at most four or five grams um, so a couple hundred bucks worth of gold <clears throat> alright so we're done with that process um, what we've got now is a beaker that's got uh, quite a bit of gold foils in it. It's got uh, that 25 milliliter mark of water there. So it's and it's it's got you know, quite a bit of gold foil in there. There's also some green crap and stuff that'll come out in the refining process. And then this last filter of everything else that I've cleaned out in you know, my rinsing bucket and everything else. Um, so I'm letting that drain out, and then uh, we're going to let that all dry uh, as much as possible, and then it's on to the refining step. Now, I've got um, the rest of these fingers here that I rinsed off as best as I could, and what I'm going to do is let them dry off really good, and then some night when I'm, there's nothing on TV, I'm just going to throw them all out on like a cookie tray or something and you know, go through them one by one to make sure there's, there's none that still have gold on them. They are, I'll just go in this bucket like this, and they'll go in the next batch. 
All right, so that took me that took me about two hours to get all that filtering done. Um, like I said, my method may not be the best method, but that is the way I do it. Um, I try and make sure that I rinse everything really well. Make sure that I don't lose any gold anywhere. Um, my acid peroxide that I used is all back in this jug and I make sure to test it periodically with stannous chloride to make sure that there's no gold dissolved in there but using the air bubbler system you really don't have to worry about that too much so the next step that we're going to go through is the refining process this can be another video um, and that should be out soon so what I'm trying to do is kind of like go step by step where you have you know, the AP refining and then we're going to I'm going to show you how to glaze a crucible and then melt it down with map gas. Comment, like, and subscribe. I think that's where they are. I'm not sure. Anyway, so see you later. Next time we won't be in my crappy garage. Hey guys, one more quick thing. Um, in this batch of, of gold fingers that I put in there, I also threw in three of those, you know those um, those like white, those wide white um, flat wires that sometimes have the little gold plated ends? like these, threw them in, gold's completely gone. So they, they came right off into the AP, which is great. So you can, I know now that I can process these with acid peroxide. Um, yeah, save some time. That's it.